In this animation, we will introduce you to the concept of fluorescence and the reasons why fluorescence-based techniques are used in cell and molecular biology experiments. In cell and molecular biology experiments, we use fluorescent dyes, fluorescent stains, or fluorescently tagged antibodies to detect proteins, structures, and or processes within cells, tissues, and organisms. Using microscopy or flow cytometry experimental techniques, we can detect the presence, localization, and amount of fluorescent molecules. Fluorescence is frequently used in such experiments because it can be detected in a very sensitive manner, leading to quantitative results. Some examples of fluorescent molecules are DAPI, used to detect DNA, ethidium bromide, used to intercalate DNA in agarose gels, and green fluorescent protein, a naturally occurring fluorescent protein found in jellyfish. How does fluorescence work? Fluorophores, or fluorescent molecules, can be excited by the absorption of light, causing the molecule to reach a higher energy state. This high energy state is unstable and cannot be sustained, which causes the molecule to drop to a more stable, lower energy state. Then, the fluorophore will emit light, causing it to return to its original starting energy state, or the ground state. The emitted light will be a different color from the light that was originally absorbed. Fluorescence is defined as the emission of light through this process of absorbing light. In a sample that has been fluorescently labeled, laser light in the microscope or flow cytometer with a proper filter to excite the fluorophore within its correct excitation range can excite the fluorophore. The emitted light can be detected through detectors in the flow cytometer or through the microscope's eyepiece or camera.